Greetings. I'm the Reverend Jen Fenner of Epworth United Methodist Church in Gaithersburg, Maryland, and this is Transformed by Faith Today. Today is a very special day, January 1st, the first day of a brand new year. And so as you stand on this day, I invite you first to give thanks for everything that God has done and for who God has shown himself to be in this past year. One of the things that COVID has really taught me is that thanksgiving and praise don't necessarily always come from a feeling, from an easy road, from a place of plenty or from abundance, but rather the act of giving thanks, the act of offering praise is first of all due to the amazing nature of who God is. And so whatever circumstances we face, whatever challenges we are in the midst of, whatever storm we're walking through, there is always space and purpose and power in giving thanks and praise to God. Psalm 118, starting with verse 1, moving to verse 9 says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for God is good. God's steadfast love endures forever. If we skip to verse 5, we hear, Out of my distress I called on the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me in a broad place. With the Lord on my side, I do not fear. What can mortals do to me? The Lord is on my side to help me. I shall look in triumph on those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put confidence in mortals. It's better to take refuge in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. The first part of our thanksgiving this first day of 2022 is thanksgiving to God because God is good, because God's love is steadfast and steady, because in that steady and steadfast love, God puts us in a broad place and gives us ample place to stand. We give thanks to God on this first day of the new year because God's love endures forever, because God's love has carried us through 2021, because God's love has held us, even heard us when in distress in the past year we called to the Lord. God answered us because of this amazing love. With the Lord on our side, we have no reason to fear. Now, I want to say I understand that fear is present and sometimes God-given, a way to indicate when there's danger or need for change in our lives. But fear that goes unchecked, fear that tumbles over into anxiousness, fear that overwhelms us and paralyzes us is not of God. And in fact, we're called to consider if God is with us, what can mortals do to us? What can a human being do to me when God is beside me? What even can death take from me when I stand in the presence of the God who offers eternal life? It's better to take refuge in God than to put confidence in mortals. It's better to take refuge in God than to put confidence in princes or in powerful people. On this first day of 2022, I invite you to join me in giving thanks and praise for what God has done in 2021 and for who God has shown himself to be. The act of giving thanks enters us, puts us in a posture of strength, of confidence, of victory, of joy as we enter this new year. Will you pray with me? God, we're grateful. First of all, that your word teaches us to give thanks, to give thanks in all circumstances, to give thanks, not just because the road is easy or because we've received everything we wanted, but to give thanks because you are good. The very nature of who you are is good. And we know your goodness, God, because the steadfastness of your love is always with us. I thank you, God, for every way that you have been present to me, to those that I love, to those that I dislike, to those in this world that I've never met, that you have been present with a faithful and steadfast love that endures forever. I thank you, God, that your mercy is universalizing, that there is none outside the bounds of your desire to bring to wholeness and to healing. I thank you, God, that when you are on my side, 
There is nothing to be afraid of, even when I walk through the darkest valleys of the shadows of death. God, I ask that on this first day of the year, that you would center my heart and the hearts of those who listen to this in a broad space, in a wide place, to look back on a year that has gone by and to see at least one evidence of your goodness, of your love that is without end. In the places and the spaces, God, where my heart and my head is clouded by grief, by shame, by pain, by situations that are not resolved, by clarity that I yet seek, God, I ask that you would allow me to just hold on to your love, that my confidence would be based on your love, that my lack of fear would be based on the steadfastness of your presence, that my sense of victory and of triumph my ability to continue on and to overcome would be grounded in the sense that your goodness, your love, your steadiness endures forever. God, I'm grateful that when I have called on you in distress, in every moment of 2021, when I lifted up my voice and called upon your name, I'm grateful that not only have you heard me, but you have answered me and you have set me in a broad place. Give us the courage, the strength, the joy, and the grace to walk into a new year, not because we know it's easy, not because COVID's over, not because we see what the future will hold, but because we trust the steadfastness of your love that endures forever. Thank you, God, for giving us the one thing in the world to hold on to through any storm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.